which is a skin disease caused by mites. And there are two main kinds, demodectic and sarcoptic. We're pretty sure that the mange that has afflicted the lions and some of the other animals of our area is sarcoptic mange. Oh no, and now you're itchy. Shame, little one. Definitely a bit more scruffy looking than the Nkuhuma cubs. We're not really sure why mange has affected the animals of the Sabi sand this year, but it's quite possible that the drought has weakened them and allowed the disease to take hold. The Styx pride of three lionesses lost three little cubs when the Birmingham boys came into the area. But once the new males settled, they mated with the lionesses. While we were waiting for the new cubs to come, however, it became clear that one of the Birmingham boys had a severe case of sarcoptic mange. He rubbed all of the skin off his belly, leaving it red and raw. Then, while we were watching the Styx Pride one day, it became clear that one of the lionesses had picked up a few of those itchy patches of sarcoptic mange. And I haven't seen the Styx for quite some time, and this is definitely the worst I've seen the lionesses looking for a while. And with that mange, it is almost certain that the Styx Pride caught the mange from that Birmingham boy and then all of the cubs, one by one, were ravaged by the disease until we watched with horror as they all died. There are currently no Styx cubs remaining, but one of the lionesses has just given birth to another litter, so perhaps there's hope for the Pride yet. As far as the Ngahuma pride goes, well, things have been a little bit different. They were clear for a long time, and then on one of the youngest cubs, a little patch of the mange appeared on the back of the ears. Now, that's where it often starts. Slowly, it has spread to at least one of the lionesses and probably three or four other cubs. Whether they will die or whether they will survive the disease remains to be seen, but they are eating probably a lot more than those Styx cubs were. They've had a lot more milk from their mothers, and certainly the pride has killed a huge number of buffalo recently, so perhaps the extra food will help their immune systems to fight off the disease. We at Safari Live support the Sabi Sands policy of non-intervention. It's obviously dreadful to watch a pride of lions devastated by a disease, but that's nature, and this is not a zoo. One of the positive possible outcomes is that the disease will weed out the weak. It's natural selection in action, and without it, we would not have a resilient ecosystem. We appreciate hugely all of the concern shown for the lions as they've gone through this tough time, but we remain completely convinced that nature should be allowed to take its course. We also look forward with you to a new generation of healthy little sticks cubs. An elephant never forgets, but you might click subscribe and you'll never miss another safari.